Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here and today we have another video taking a look at the placeable Eco Green Factories by Vanquish081. Now we've taken a look at some of the other ones. Um, this one right here is another really, really awesome one. It's going to produce some minerals for you, or some chemicals, let's put it that way. Um, what we're looking at specifically today is going to be lime. Now this is going to function very, very similar to the mineral fertilizer that we had a few days ago. Um, but it's going to be lime today. So if this is your first video here in this series, we do have a bunch of others covering the placeable factories. They all function pretty well the same. And if you'd like to take a look at any of those videos, I'm going to go ahead and put the playlist up above. So what do you do whenever you first place this down? Well, you're going to come right over here to this trigger. You're going to hit L3. I'm on PlayStation, so that's the button I hit. Now you can see that this is going to function like an animal dealer. So what you need to do is move it from left to right. When it's over there, you are going to be good to go. Now, can you do two of these? Let's try. No, you're only going to be able to move one over. So we're going to refer to everything else from here out as production level one. Some of these, you have two different production levels. You have a one and a two, but this one, unfortunately, you only have one. Now, actually, how do you confirm this? You're going to hit square. Whenever you hit square, that's going to turn it on, and you can start putting all of your inputs into the different tanks to be able to produce what you need to. So the first thing you're going to see right here, we have a big area right here for solids. This is actually going to take manure. And what is the max capacity of that? Well, it's going to be 100,000 liters. Next, you're going to come right over here. And as you can see, I have a big tanker pulled in here. It's got a bunch of water in it. This blue tank right here is going to be your water. And it's going to take 100,000 liters. Now, the biggest difference between this one and the other one is it's not going to take digestate, it's actually going to take slurry. And it's a nice green tank right here. So if you have these two placed next to each other, the one with the green is going to be your lime, and the other one is going to be your fertilizer. So once again, pull it in right there. What's max capacity? It's actually 500,000 liters. So if we come back right here, you can see that we actually have 12,500 liters of lime. And you may be wondering, how long did it actually take me to produce this 12,500 liters? Well, it took a little bit over five days. It was actually 5.06 days. So you can just roughly estimate five days. But as you can see here on this chart, that's how long it took. And the total production per day, because we took 12,500, divided it out by five days, it's 2,470 liters per day that you're going to get of lime. That's not a lot. Because we all know the lime goes very, very fast, but it's free as long as you have all the other inputs. So as long as you have manure from your cows or pigs, and you have slurry from your cows or pigs, your water you can get for free on this map. This is actually Ravensburg, and it's a really, really awesome map. I've been able to use all of these placeable factory mods on here with no problem. Now, the ones from VSR. There's also some from Farmer Menu. They're not able to work on this map, only the ones from the VSR team. And like I said, the water over on the other side of the map is free. So everything here, as long as you have animals providing the other two inputs for you, is completely free. Now there's costs associated with all those, but it's a byproduct over there, right? You can sell it or you can bring it over here and make something for free. So you may be wondering, how much product do we actually use? Well, on water, your total usage is 25,365. So per day, that's 5,013 liters. Next is manure. How much do we use total? 25,365, again, and per day it's 5,013. And how much slurry do we use to be able to produce this 12,500 liters? Well, it's going to be 146,723. That comes out to 28,997 liters per day. That's a lot. I feel like you're going to have to have quite a few animals to be able to do that. But once you get there, like I said, it's going to be absolutely free for you. So the interesting thing on lime, you can't actually sell it. There's no um, buy point or sell points on the map that accept it. Now, if you're using a mod that accepts it, absolutely you can. I don't have any of those loaded in here right now. So we're just going to go with everything that's on the map. And we don't have any prices available at all. So what do you do with it? Well, you're going to be able to fill up your equipment. You can fill up a trailer, or you can fill up a spreader. And that's what we're going to do here today. So, turn on my nice tractor here. Raise up the bucket a little bit. We're actually going to drive 
in here. Now you want to make sure that your bucket is nice and level. And then whenever you drive over it, you can see, boom, there you go. Raise it up, tip it back so none of it spills out. We'll zoom out a little bit. Get over top of your trailer. Just like so. Whenever you dump it in, you can see, there it goes. So perfect. Now, let's fill up a spreader. Typically you just pull up to like a silo, and that would do it, right? So, down a little bit. There we go, we're full. I'm gonna leave a little bit low this time, so we don't get all crazy. All right, so once again, raise it up. And we're gonna dump it. There we go. Perfect, we'll spin around here and you can see that it did fill up down there in the bottom. So, that's everything you're gonna be able to do with it. There's no anything else that, um, no other inputs or anything like that the plants are going to take. Uh, so it's really, really awesome that, um, you know, this thing you can fill up right here. Now, there's other spreaders also, and you have to be a little bit careful with those that you're not like half on, half off, because it will dump on the ground. We showed that in the mineral fertilizer, that if you're not spot on with these, it will dump when you're using these buckets. Um, you can get a pretty wide bucket in here. So... Don't be afraid if you've got a bigger piece of equipment to uh, to use that big bucket. I think it'll fit in there no problem at all. But that's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date on all the latest videos here on the Placeable Factories or production change, you know, in preparation for FS22 maybe, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.